Well, actually, uh, the, the reports, uh, you know, associated with, associated with the NDAA uh, talks about the uh, Indo-Pacific Campaign Initiative. Uh, my question for President is that, do you see anything new out of this term uh, compared with, mm -hmm. say, the first term uh, when Biden, I don't know Biden is going for the second term, you know, jump in the election, or even as opposed to uh, when uh, Donald Trump was in office? I think there's definitely a differences here because the uh, in the past when we talk about narrative uh, competition between US and China the United States basically allocates uh, the responsibility uh, and the resources to the State Department for example so in State Department there's a global engagement center which basically uh, try to monitor and attract and to a certain extent try to devise a, a narrative to counter the, the Chinese narrative campaign but now we are seeing this uh, Indo-Pacific campaign initiative uh, in the D Department of Defense. That also means that uh, in the DOD, when they talk about the countering Chinese uh, campaign, uh, the, uh, it's the military will also take the, the certain action uh, that uh, in the past had been basically the political and the diplomacy work.